called him. We said, you know, Paolo, baka you might be interested. Ganyan. He was very excited. Hindi niya naman tinago yung excitement niya. When Jesscom called me, uh, and they said that there was an Ignatius film in the works, I was, of course, excited about it. Uh, because, of course, Ignatius' story is something, it begs to be told. I was at once excited, of course, also a bit terrified. I started my career as an editor at Jesscom. This was years ago, and even back then, I really felt that there was something special about this place. It was a combination of the people had a certain point of view, a certain mindset, and a way of dealing with things that I felt was very, very admirable and very optimistic and very idealistic. Um, since then, I've gone on to work with a lot of different uh, companies, but I feel that Jesscom will always have a special place in my heart, simply because this was the first time I was in a community of peers, of fellow professionals, uh, and people that I liked and, and I admired. Ignatius has always been a little bit of a cipher for most people. You kind of always see Ignatius only on a wall, in a painting, or, or in the statue over there in Ateneo holding up the sword. You know about the key points in his life, but beyond that, you, we, we don't really know much about his person. It was very interesting to try to go into the history of it. I think the uh, message of Ignatius, the message of his life, is timeless. It appeals to generations, well, in the past and uh, now and in the future. Why? Well, it, it's the story of uh, a man looking for meaning in life. Every man, every woman asks himself or herself, why am I here? What can I do to make my life meaningful? The main challenge in putting together the script was trying to put together two quite different forms of literature, I think, maybe. On the one hand, you have the autobiography of St. Ignatius, which is, he lived a crazy life, and then how he found his peace, how he found his quiet, how he found his happiness, from a very action-packed uh, life, in other words, to something that's very serene and very happy and very balanced. In cinema, in traditional cinema, in popular cinema, we're always looking for something that increases in scope, in action, in emotion, and then ends in a nice uh, crescendo, in a nice crescendo, and then a resolution. So that whole difference between his actual story and what the needs of a traditional nar cinematic narrative, that difference is what was the challenge there. We used several literary devices to pull that off. The nice thing about it is that contemporary cinema does accept a lot of these devices already. First, I w I'd like to mention that when we were working on the story of Ignatius, we want the whole life story. <laughs> but uh, we later on realized that it was too long a story to tell. It would be very costly for us to go to Spain and France where he studied and then end up in, in, in uh, Rome where he uh, <clears throat> became the leader of the Society of Jesus. So we, we decided later on to just focus on his conversion. We wanted to portray a very human Ignatius of Loyola because that was who he was. He was a sinner. And so we wanted to uh, focus on that as well. We wanted that. For example, not many of us would have experienced his his family life. He was given away. They were very rich, but uh, his mother died early, so he was given away. And so we said, he had a father issue, like many of us. So we wanted all of that in, in the story because all of that helps to write the real story of Ignatius. We had all these experts to advise us, and they were part of the process in the crafting of the script. It was crucial for me, and I think for the whole team, that the whole process of putting together the film and the story was guided by the Jesuits themselves. Because in the end, this is the story of their founder. This is their story. So it was very important for us to get the major, major things correct. Like how his philosophy came about, how his spiritual exercises came about, uh, what are the major tenets of that philosophy. 
the teachings that he eventually uh, shared with his followers and eventually became the bedrock of uh, Jesuit teaching and education and all that. I think it's very, it was very helpful, useful, crucial even that the Jesuits helped shape the story. Finally, nakakuha kami ng go signal kay Father Nono to, okay, sige, produce natin yan. Next question is, may budget na ba tayo? Kasi, binigyan lang kami ng parang base budget. Kaya ba yan in, parang in 20 million? Siyempre, kung 20 million, malaking bagay yung script. Kasi so, 20 million, may war scene yan, definitely hindi. 20 million will not cut it. Hindi yun, hindi yun kakayanin. So what we did was to raise uh, a little fund uh, via Indiegogo for us to be able to go to Spain initially to scout for locations and basically to determine whether we can do it or not in the locations given. Also, we went there to um, audition uh, the cast. No? We first went to Spain to check out locations and actors and so on sometime March, April of 2014. It was sort of a mini pilgrimage. A place is a character as well in a movie. And I think early on, the team from Jescom, um, Father Nona, our producers, Ernest and Paul, wanted to build in the character of the place into the movie. The way to understand Ignatius is not just about, you know, finding out what his motivations in life were, because those things were also situated in a place. When he underwent his scruples, that took place in a certain area, where he was brought up was also a very big part in what he became. We went to several of the sites where the story took place. His house in Loyola, which is now a museum. We went to the cave in Manresa. Um, which was both a very haunting and spiritual experience, I think, for the team to see that. I think the Rekis really lent clarity to the process. I mean, we were really able to see uh, what kind of a person he was, uh, just following in his footsteps and going to the places where he went. So that was the purpose of the first location month, which was fairly successful because we realized the importance of shooting in the actual locations now, or in the locations where, for instance, the castle of Loyola. We were not going to pay the location fees, and we were allowed to shoot there. So, parang it made sense to shoot nga dun sa dun sa bahay mismo ni Ignacio. Of course, as a writer and as a director, you, you bring to the project some initial preconceptions of what a country is going to be like or what what the environment or the culture is going to be like. But once we got there, a lot of these preconceptions were overturned. Because they are looking for for a character who is really similar to you, is your age and is really similar to you. So you should audition for it. So I went for it, you know, I, 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 I went for it. But well, I if you went, well, you went for it. I went for it. <laughs> I wanted to go for it, to audition for it in Madrid, but I couldn't because I've been doing Hamlet um, in London. So I sent my brother there, and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs>